Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz6510 Models. We're a channel dedicated to help you become the better scale modeler. So tonight I've decided to drag this one out of the stash. It's the Scammel Tank Transporter. It's been around for years and years and years. Airfix have said that they're, they're going to release this as a vintage classic. Now that will mean that it will have been released on 11 times over the years. It was first released back in 1962 as the transporter and then it was reboxed then because it was originally in a in a bag it was reboxed in 1963 10 years down the line it was reboxed again in 1973 with the same artwork but with just the airfix down there in the bottom right hand corner then again they released it again in 75 also same artwork again just moved the model name and they released it again in 1978 then there was this really, really long gap between 1978 and 13 years after the fact. They re-released it again, which is what this box here is, 1991. Released again in 1993. Then again in 1995, but this time they've changed the artwork. 2005, basically the same kit. 2008, same artwork. Then they're re-releasing it again, 2019, 2020, with the old style artwork right sorry guys for the movement here and the and the audio quality but i wanted to check something because while i was editing this video something came up i've just checked now when this was released in 1962 right up to 1995 the scale was ho ho okay and then in 1995 they released it with brand new artwork and they called it one to 72 scale 10 years after that, when they reboxed it again with that artwork from 1995, they then reclassed it as 1 to 76 scale. So as you go through the years, you can see you've got the OO gauge, then you have the um, 1 to 72, and then it goes into 1 to 76. Now, all these kits here previous, if they were classed as that, they are now classed as 1 to 76 scale. But there you go, there's just a little something in the history of this kit that changed they haven't changed the tooling they haven't changed the mode they just realized that it has, isn't actually a 1 to 72 scale it's 1 to 76 anyway let's get back to the video so that's really the history of them releasing this kit there's a lot of releases i understand but as you can see there's not a lot of difference what you get inside the box is basically what was molded and tooled back in 1962 but if you just want a bit of history of this actual vehicle the actual proper name for it is the Scamo Pioneer. And it was basically a British 6x4 tractor unit used in World War II as an artillery tractor recovery vehicle and the tank transporter, which is what we have here. It was designed as a 6x4 off-road vehicle for use in Britain's colonies where sealed roads were scarce. The Pioneer was first produced in 1927. And even though it was lacking all-wheel drive, its combination of a suspension with great travel, excellent traction, and a low revving engine gave it impressive pulling power on rough ground at low speeds. They were produced between 1927 and 1945. They were in service from 1932 right up to the 1980s. The engine in it was an 8.4 litre Gardener, six cylinder diesel, uh, it had 102 brake horsepower and it had a constant mesh gearbox and its maximum speed was 24 miles per hour. So then let's get the box, let's open it and let's see what you get inside. So first off, basically, it's, as I said, it's a top opening box. So you've got um, a top and a bottom. Move that to the side. Here's the instructions, which basically tell you everything what they what they said they don't really mention it very much the actual name is pioneer they basically called it the scammel tank transporter number there is 02301 hundreds of these powerful diesel engine tank transporters were supplied to the services during the second world war much of what i've said open up in the instructions small little decal there with just numbers on so you can pick which one you want um you can either have it in black or have it in white uh, h4611623 if i get up to the camera there can you see that is it in focus yet yeah. you can have it in white and also there it is there the scammel 30 ton tank transporter obviously you're going to be making the cab or first and you do have a figure it looks like steering wheel 
uh, clear parts there, I guess, for the... There's no clear parts, just looking. Uh, no, not in any clear parts, but there you go. Then you start off with doing the chassis underneath. Uh, there's the, um, the prop shaft, axles. Put it all together there with the wheels. So it looks like the single thing. So, yeah, two parts to a wheel all the way through. Put it all together. That's the first part, number four. Then you start building the trailer. So it's all like exploded view. So as I said, the wheels are all in, in half. So two together to make one part of the axles there. Moving it through, there's some springs there, I think. Going down through, yep, yeah, all together. And then you have the humble paint colors at the bottom. There shouldn't be that many, should there? So you've got European camouflage there. Green, darker, dark, um, earth, dark brown, black, silver. Or you can also do the desert camouflage as well. Earth, dark brown, black and silver. And I think that's all you're going to get from the instructions. Inside the bag, this is, you know, so this is a very, very old tool. Um, unfortunately, my, my kit has already been opened before. And so all the bits may be a little bit loose. So what I'll do is I'll grab this top half of the box. We'll put them back in there as we go. So this is having a quick look. You can see there's rivet rivet marks on the front all the way through can you see that i presume that might, might even be some sort of tank that's for the steps on the side it might be even the tank there there's the roof it's you know quite a bit of detail there quite a lot of pin marks but you won't see them They're quite a bit of badly mold that looks like a bit badly molded unfortunately you may may have to do some work though unless you cut them bits out i'm not too sure but yeah, it's, 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 it's an old kit. A little bit of flash there on the edge. You have to tidy, a little bit tidy up needed. There's your figure there. Looking proud, wearing a beret. Uh, there's the rear axle, I guess. One side, and there's the other side. Pushing through, there's a radiator there. Quite a bit there. All numbered up, of course, which is good. There's your um, your trailer chassis there. Not too bad, not that bad looking. Spin this up here. Not too sure what that is, but you can see a little bit of over, over flash there, just a little bit. I think this is mostly for the trailer. That's, I think that's the chassis for the actual the uh, the the tractor unit at the front there. I think that's what that is. The wheels again are all halves, so you get quite a few wheels to play with. Just glue them together, give them a bit of a bit of a um, clean up when you do that. There's a the steering wheel. It looks like bits for inside the cab there. A couple of shocks there. The steering wheel, tiny little steering wheel. Uh, that's on the front there. You can just see there. It's. Uh, it's actually still got the number in there. I don't know if you can see that. Whoops, I want to hit the camera. If I can get the get it to 19. It says 1951 there. Or is that 61? I need to get a loop. There you are. Try and get it to 1969. Crumbs. 1961. Airfix products, 1961. There you go. So that's that one. Small little bits there, which I think is for. There's your leaf springs there. Let's bring out. There's your leaf springs. All the other bits there that you will need. I think that's for the front. Some more wheels. Put them back. And that must be for inside the cab for the seat. Definitely. And I'm not too sure what that bit is. I think that's for the attack. I think that's the fifth wheel for where the trailer attaches. Again, some more. Uh, another ax is that axle there. No, it's a leaf spring. A little bit of a leaf spring there. So yeah, some very very minor detail on the lorry itself and on the truck and on the trailer. But yeah, you get quite a few bits in there, don't you? Just very quickly, I've, I've pulled out the 11th edition of the Airfix catalogue, which I will be filming in the next couple of weeks to put on the channel. I'm just going to 
go back and see if we can find there. That's the. There it is there. Can you see that popping up to the camera? There it is in that catalog there. It's not in the original 1962 edition because I've, I've had a look back. I think the the only the only place I've seen it so far is in the fifth edition. So when I get the fifth edition in stock, I'll be uh, filming that and putting it on there. So you'll see it there. But that is the only other place I've seen it in a catalogue. So that was an unboxing and quick review of the Scamel Tank Transporter, which has been re-released this year. It may even be released by Airfix as in as their classic range. And you'll probably pay between $5.99 and $7.99 for it. I can't see it being any more, but you know, it it's a it's a very, very old kit. You know, you're talking 50, 58 years. If I'm if I do my math, mathematics right, 1962 to 2020, it's 58 years. So the tooling must have been very well looked after, and as I said, it's been released on so many occasions. Anyways. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on any new videos. Any questions, any comments, put them in the box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.